For more than a decade, the idea of the super reliability of a Lexus car has been driven into the minds of people. Ask anyone, from a government official who has a Mercedes for personal use, to a SIM card seller who rides an old 9, everyone will confirm the fact of the mythical endurance of the Japanese brand units. However, as it turned out, believing in such promises is no better than taking articles from the yellow press to heart. Someone already probably thought that we are now pouring mud on Lexus creations. But this is not so at all. The reliability of the second generation RX crossover is doing well. Just don't have any illusions. After the model's debut in 2003 at the Detroit Auto Show, the Lexus RX2 was offered with two petrol V-shaped sixes, the RX300, 204 horsepower, for Europe and the RX330, 233 horsepower, for the USA. A little later, a hybrid version of the RX400H, 2005, entered service. And only in 2006 a common version for all markets appeared, the RX350 with the 2GR FEV6 engine. 276 horsepower. A known problem for all versions is the failure of catalysts and lambda probes. But, firstly, this happened extremely rarely, and secondly, the culprit of this incident, as a rule, was our gasoline. There are also known problems with the 3.5 V6 engine, in versions before 2010. In a relatively large range, 40 to 110,000 kilometers, the oil line was leaking. This happened at the junction of the pipes with the rubber section. The disease is treated very simply, by replacing the shriveled part with a similar, only metal one. Not the last role in the damaged nerves of the owners is played by the clutch of the VVTI system, which is responsible for the valve timing system. Its weak point is the gears, which made themselves felt with a loud short-term rattle when the engine was started. Similar symptoms could appear already at 20,000 km. The measure for arranging a malfunction is to replace the node. In addition to extraneous sounds, increased attention should be paid to engine temperature. The reason is the current radiators, because of which Lexus even staged a recall campaign. However, you can still find crossover owners who change this part almost every year. An adaptive 5-speed automatic was installed on all versions of the Lexus RX, which distinguished itself by very rough work when you press the gas pedal after coasting. This feature was most clearly manifested between the second and third gears. There is nothing critical in this, but, you see, from a car worth about 2 million rubles, you are waiting for comfort, and not a sudden kick under the fifth point. There are two ways out of this situation, change the oil along with the filter and hope for improvements, or change the driving style and develop special skills for smooth acceleration. Many owners act, focusing on the second method, and they are achieving some success in this. So it turns out that on paper, an adaptive gearbox, but in reality, an adaptive driver. Another unpleasant surprise is the rumble emitted by the rear wheel bearings, which is almost impossible to predict the wear period. In terms of transmission, that's it. No critical comments on the all-wheel drive clutch, car den shafts and CB joints were noticed. On a Japanese crossover, depending on the configuration, both a conventional spring suspension and an air suspension with the ability to change the ride height could be installed. By the standards of the class, this feature is unique. True, why it is needed, no one really knows. Increased permeability? Nonsense, the RX all-wheel drive system is not able to defeat a muddy country road with any serious terrain. For comfort? Again no. Pneumatic elements have almost the same rigidity with the standard scheme. Even the resource of shock-absorbing elements in both cases is approximately the same, 80 to 100,000 kilometers, which is quite good. The picture is spoiled only by the rotting wiring of the body position sensor, due to which the corresponding indicator appears on the dashboard, and the racks refuse to obey the owner's manipulations, and the compressor valves that fail, due to which the latter had to be replaced. The next typical malfunction is to highlight steering rack leaks, which, at best, can be eliminated with a repair kit, at worst, by replacing the assembly. And the parade of breakdowns concludes with loose rear floating silent blocks, 70,000 kilometers, prematurely worn out brake pads, 20 to 35,000 kilometers, and brake discs that often lose their correct geometry from overheating, about 40,000 kilometers. As for the interior and body, there are no less problems. For example, many owners complained about white flakes flying from the air conditioner and an unpleasant smell. The source of discomfort is a corrosive evaporator that had to be changed. Some questions are caused by leather upholstery. 
It is so soft that a magazine placed on it leaves dents with sharp edges. Surprisingly, but not critical, as the material regains its shape after a while. But with stains, the problem is more acute. Spilled drinks are extremely difficult to remove from the upholstery. Outbreaks of dissatisfaction with acoustic comfort are also known. Over time, the interior space is filled with all sorts of extraneous sounds, the most famous of which is emitted by the rear curtain latches. As for the body and electrics, here in the first place is a weak headlight. Not only does it have insufficient brightness, but also the headlight housings fog up. On some specimens, these cases are assembled with such slots that there are cases of competitions in which, in order to win, it was necessary to find the most unusual insect inside the optical element. And finally, a few words about the windshield. A few pebbles flying out from under the car in front can force the owner to pay a large sum to the dealer. But, what is most interesting is that the Chinese analogs of the original part, according to some sources, are even stronger than the Japanese ones. As you have already noticed, the above information would be quite enough for the plot of the Mythbusters program. However, this does not mean that buying a Lexus RX2 in the secondary market is a waste of money. Not at all. If you love comfort, calm and pleasant driving, and are also ready to responsibly approach the selection of a used copy, then a Japanese crossover will easily satisfy all your needs.